Hey guys, uh, this is GPD Handheld here and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys on how to optimize a PPSS PP emulator to get the best performance on your GPD XT Plus. So let's start. The first steps that you guys are going to do is uh, to get the latest version of a PPSS PP emulator on your GPD XT Plus. To do it, we just go to a uh, Play Store and uh, download the latest version. This is a uh, very important as um, sometimes there is a uh, imp performance improvement with a uh, future version of PPSS PP. So it is always the best to get the latest version of a PPSS PP emulator. So once you guys get the latest version, uh, what we are going to do is. Uh, we will launch the emulator and uh, I'll show you guys the uh, optimal settings for to get the to extract the absolute max performance out of the PPSS PP emulator. So uh, let's go to the settings menu. Alright, gotta change the focus a little bit. Oh yeah. So when we go to settings, they are uh, this is a settings menu. So I'm going to explain the settings to get a best performance. Uh, the first one, backend, uh, as as you already know, uh, sometimes uh, most of the times while well, Vulkan um, API will give the best performance. So in this case, we will set the backend to Vulkan. All right. Uh, and uh, the second one is a uh, buffer effects. So the mood is uh, if you want to get uh, the best performance uh, in games that doesn't need a uh, buffer rendering, it is best to set uh, to skip buffer effects. But there is some games that uh, needs uh, buffer rendering such as uh, Midnight Club 2. So in this case, we will have to uh, turn on the buffer rendering but if a game doesn't need that to work well so skip buffer effects can be selected the next one is a smooth simulate block transfer effects this one is a uh, left unchecked frame skipping uh, is best to give a uh, frame skipping values so in my case i'll set it to once and uh, we will set a uh, auto frame skip to on Yes, so this one is um, the next uh, settings is to prevent S FPS from exceeding 60. We left it checked. Alternative speeds uh, unlimited. Yeah. So the next one is a uh, display layout editor. This is a re this is a uh, related to uh, the layout of the PPSSPP, so it is not needed. So we will go to the performance part. In the performance part, this is the important steps to get the best performance. So usually for rendering resolution, it is best if you want to set it at two times um, PSP. You will get a the double the pixel performance for games on a PBSS PP emulator. But um, as a result, you guys will get uh, some performance degradation. So it is a uh, left gray out this time, and uh, hardware transform is a uh, checked. This one is to use uh, the GPU of the GPDXT Plus to render some of the transformation effects. So software skinning is also best to keep it checked, and uh, vertex cache is a uh, checked. So the next uh, settings is a uh, lazy texture caching. Is left checked. Uh, retain uh, change textures sometimes slower. Uh, this one is left unchecked. The next setting is uh, disables low effects. Uh, this one should should be left checked so that uh, the PPSS PP will not render out uh, effects that are causing uh, more slowdowns such as a uh, post process in some games. So hardware tessellation is a uh, left checked. This one is on. And uh, upscale level, this one, now we move to the texture, texture scaling part of the emulator settings. So upscale level, 
we'll set to for upscale level we'll set to off and then uh, upscale type is uh, left it at default the posturize is uh, left unchecked uh, the next setting that is about um, texture filtering so we are going to leave it uh, as a default so anisotropic filtering is a uh, put it at off texture filtering is a uh, linear we can have if you want to have a better performance it is have to the lowest is a uh, linear uh, texture stealing filter is a uh, linear so we'll just leave it at uh, as a default so this one the next setting is a uh, google cardboard settings is a uh, best to leave it as it be since we are not using a VR so now we are up to the place of a timer hack uh, to get a better performance it is best to leave a timer hack on leave it checked disable stencil effects is uh, left unchecked this is uh, only for a few games that supports it and there's no performance implication on this settings and the games that and most of the games that need the tens tensor test to work already fixed in a f latest version of uh, PPSSPP. So now we are going to one uh, very important settings that is uh, to lower resolution for effects. So in this case, the default is uh, off. But uh, if you want to get the if you guys want to get the best performance from uh, PPSSPP. It is best to leave it at a to set it as aggressive. By setting it to aggressive, uh, perform the game might not look as good, but uh, you will get a big performance boost in uh, games that use um, heavy effects. So show FPS counter that is to show frame rate. Uh, for my case, I'll set it to both since I can see the percentage and uh, frames per second and. Uh, show the park statistics is a uh, left off so the next uh, part is uh, about uh, audio enable sound is on global volume is uh, set to default audio latency is uh, default bluetooth friendly buffer uh, so i leave it unchecked because because in this case uh, we are not using a bluetooth uh, headset so audio sync uh, resampling it is if you want to get the best performance it is advice to leave it off so sound speed hack is uh leave it as default since that uh, there's only it is this settings is only affecting um games that use um that needs uh the speed hack for it to get a perfect sound without crackling noise so now we are going to the part of controls control mapping is uh is to is for us to map our GPD XT Plus uh, controller to the PPSSPP emulator. It is a uh, very self-explanatory, and um, I'm uh, glad to say that uh, all controller buttons in a uh, the XT Plus is supported out of the box in a PPSSPP emulator. So we don't need to use the uh, mapping tools like this. So whichever case, we just um, map our buttons uh, straight away to the emulator and it will work well all button works and there's no problem about that so haptic feedback vibration is uh, off since uh, the xc plus doesn't have a vibration tilt input type is a uh, non touch control that is the, to come up with a touch overlay uh, since uh, the xc plus already have built-in controller so it is a uh, set to off and axis sensitivity is for those uh, who want uh, to adjust the analog sen analog sticks uh, sensitivity. I will just leave it at de as default. Now we are going to a uh, networking part. So this one is a uh, left uh, without a change. Tools. This is for managing your PPSSPP safe data, uh, system, city, and uh, etc. So it's uh, better to leave a uh, default. So currently there is a system. So in in terms of emulations, uh, in terms of a uh, I/O timing methods, I it is uh, suggested to put at um 
at the default lag on slow device uh, fast so that games will load uh, faster since our XT Plus has a flash memory so speed is uh, not affected much so for this setting or I will just leave it as a default so right now I will go for a test of a game test uh, in this case I will just test a uh, FF now you can see the performance right now I will just uh, zoom it a little bit for the to the performance part to see the performance we will get uh, if we use uh, these settings just to show you guys the uh, settings again it is all that uh, we have set uh, unbuff skip buffer effects so currently I think it is better to uh, delete the configuration files for this game this is uh, original settings skip buffer effects frame skipping auto frame skips and uh, all these uh, settings that we put just now is uh, selected just to show you guys again and it's traffic filtering is a uh, just like what we selected earlier timer hack is on resolution is a uh, aggressive and uh, that's all settings that we have today so currently we are going to test out our game performance You need to know that uh, this is uh, at uh, two times a PSP resolution, so uh, the game uh, looks uh, two times better than it is on uh, original PSP. But the frame rate is uh, still very good. We get around uh, ninety nine percent and uh, two hundred percent. And this is uh, during cutscene that is uh, slightly more heavy. So during gameplay, so we will test out a uh, gameplay. Uh, still cutscenes, and uh, this cutscene is unskippable. So we just have the barrier. The graphics might suffer a little bit, but uh, the resolution uh, increase uh, it makes up the performance, uh, the slight graphics uh, loss. In the case of uh, comparing it to uh, playing it on an actual PSP or a PlayStation Vita. We, as you can see, it, uh, we are getting a smooth frame rate. So, I guess it is not a bad, big loss for us to set uh, this setting. So, games are definitely playable uh, on uh, current settings. Just uh, some slight, slight uh, slowdowns, but it is not uh, nothing major. Alright, we will go to uh, actual gameplay now. As you can see, it's a smooth 30 frames per second, no lag at all. So, consider it a plus in this case. This is uh, definitely the best settings uh, to get on a PPSSPP on a GPT XD Plus. And uh, in games that support uh, it, uh, to use this setting. But there are some games that uh, 
needs a buffered rendering to work so in that case we have no choice but to leave a buffered rendering uh, I guess that's all for this video today uh, I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and uh, like if you like it thanks a lot and uh, have a nice day